Hello guys, good day to you. Welcome to this new video. I'm Andrew from Yellow Hat Games and today we're going to see something that I just found. I just found this channel that is called Reimaging. Reimaging? 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 Reimaging games? The dude is making an awesome work actually. He's remaking a Super Mario game using Chris Pratt as a character. <laughs> And that's awesome, actually. Look at the trailer. Basically, they have a trailer with a voiceover. I think that is from Screen Junkies, the guy that makes the honest trailers. He has this deep voice. And that's awesome. <laughs> Look at this. Imagine okay. a world where Super Mario is a oh, realistic yes. action game starring Chris Pratt. It's a me. A Mario. A Mario. <laughs> One man is attempting to make that a reality. Okay, no, the interesting thing is that he's making this with Unreal, and Unreal is so huge, guys. It makes very awesome stuff, and definitely I'm going to give a try to Unreal myself, but I know that you are here because I use Godot, but actually Unreal is just so good. <laughs> Damn. The latest update features a much improved likeness, oh, a snazzy new outfit, and this sweet title screen. There are all new levels and actual gameplay. Chris Brad here it looks definitely like Chris Brad. I mean, he did an awesome job on this. Look at the 3D model. It's looking like Chris Brad, guys. Chris Brad is there in the game. You and it really fits well with the Super Mario, you know, Super Mario dress and everything. <laughs> it coins, lots and lots of coins. Then oh, get man. big and break stuff. You can squish Koopas, hit their shells, and get slightly unpredictable results. <laughs> Being this 3D, you know, you can move actually in a 3D space, so basically you could avoid everything in this game. Obviously, if the dev allows that, because if he doesn't allow that, you're going to fall down. <laughs> Find the hidden... And we have some there are fireworks question as well. <laughs> that actually spawn progressive power-ups. And believe me when I tell you this whole power-up system was extraordinarily difficult to make. Seriously, learning how to make any of this stuff work in Unreal Engine took three freaking months and like a million tutorials. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. Oh man, so the guy is actually doing it by learning it. Oh man, I didn't know about that. Anyway, look at this. This is actually the remake. The other video that he that he pushed out is is a little gameplay here. Now I don't know if Nintendo is going to be is going to be fine with this. They you know they send you letters and force you to actually put down the project because you know they they're going to sue you <laughs> if you don't if you don't want to to go through a suing thing. That what happens actually. Hopefully nothing is going to happen with this project. Look at this, it's looking awesome, guys. I really love the the the, the 3D. In this game. I'm, I'm not sure if this actually can be done with Godot. It would be great to make something like that with Godot, right? Believe me, one day I'll put myself on this. I, I'll try my best to make something like that with, with Godot, right? Now, something that I don't like that much is actually the fact that, you know, the, the, the camera viewing, basically, it, it makes it very difficult to kind of anticipate and see forward and i think that's a, a big issue saying oh man <laughs> i just finished the the battery anyway i think that that makes it a little bit difficult for the the player actually anticipate and understand what's coming uh, towards him and and i think that's a derivative from the 2d world you know when you are making a 2d game you actually can see forward because you are watching a plain thing while this way being the camera a little bit behind the, the character, it's it's not working that well. I think that a little bit of a zoom out will be working pretty well. Ouch! <laughs> it just got hit there. Okay, I'm just going to jump a little bit. One thing that I really liked was actually the fact the teleporting pipes were, were, were working pretty nice. Another thing that I liked was the, the last world here. Oh god, this looks awesome, look at this, look at this, I mean the illumination here, just just make it a little bit terrifying, you know, you know, <laughs> you feel the pressure here, you feel the pressure. I think it was kind of a nice choice to actually make them move not like on the 2D game, when they move basically towards the player, but the, in this case they move kind of verti vertically on the other axe, basically. And this looks cool, guys. This was all. I just wanted to make this short video because 
it deserves to be seen by everyone. Just go and check the, the true video, the full video. Go and subscribe to the channel, Reimagined Games. Definitely is making something great here and I'll be watching forward to this project. I hope, and hopefully Nintendo is not going to make him shut down the, the project. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you're doing fine. And if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my future videos. And more important, keep devin' games!